All right, BB says, Hi, I wanted to know if I can buy medium powered expired domain to power up a press release. Uh, you could, I don't, I mean, you could, I, I, I typically wouldn't. Um, but yeah, you could, if you buy, found a domain with really good metrics, you could do like a redirect to a press release. Uh, but I would recommend that it would be good metrics and it's also super relevant. Um, Cause I think just buying metrics now is really useless because Google's algorithm has come so, so far, unless it's super, super powerful. But I think there needs to be relevancy. Marco, you want to comment on that? He, he just build links yeah. to the press release yeah. and, and have, have a better effect. Why? Because Dedia knows, knows exactly what he's doing. Dedia has, has a relevant network where the links will be coming from. So all of that relevance will, will push way more power than one domain could ever push. I mean, it, 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 it really comes to the how much power are you going to push through one? Unless you can get one, one, one of those j j just with huge metrics and it's still good. It, that, right. that it's, it's not just spread all over the place. It's not spam to death. Where, where, and those are worth a whole lot of money. So why would you spend all that money on that? Well, you could just buy a link building gig, do some embeds also, and get the same effect. Yeah. Or better effect, sorry. Yeah, so BB, if, if you go to our mgyb.co slash store slash webinars, there should be a link at the top of the page anyways to take you over to the, the webinar page. You should be able to see our webinar that Web Mark and I did about uh, PR stacking, or you just go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash semantic mastery, click the channel search icon, and then search for PR silo stacking or P, uh, PR SEO, which, you know, press release SEO. And you'll see the webinar that we did where we talked about PR silo stacking and that's super powerful. And if, if you create a silo with press releases and you daisy chain the links together, right? So from one press release, you, each press release, you, you link to the, the previous press release, but you don't ever create a reciprocal. But my point is, and you take all those press releases in that silo, let's, let's say you create a chain of, I don't know, four press releases. Let's just use that as an example. And you, 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 you silo those together, stack those correctly, then you can take those four press release, grab the press release URLs that don't purge. So Street Insider is one of them. USA Today is another one of them. The Press Advantage, uh, press releases on the Press Advantage domain. There's another good one for that. Take those URLs and then add, buy a uh, link building campaign from Dedia and hammer all of them within that silo, that P press release silo, right? So with, with all your market level keywords for that particular category or that, that topic, that keyword theme. And what happens is you power all of those up, which will in turn power up whatever your target URLs are within the press release. It's a super, super powerful way to do it. Not only that, but if you have a Google My Business location that is also part of the project that you're working on, I don't know that it is. I'm just saying if you do, if you go watch that webinar that I'm talking about, I talk about specifically how to also um, work GMB posts into that, into the press release and into that silo structure so that you're powering up everything, the press release silo, website silo, and a Google My Business post silo, all at the same time with one, one fell swoop, right? And it's a very, very powerful way to do it. And again, that's all free on that webinar that we shared. So go check it out.